What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. BMX Trash Talk here. And thank you for tuning in. Well, I'm back doing videos. Had some personal issues that I needed to take care of. This is like my fourth time trying to do this video. The first time, actually, I posted it on my YouTube channel. And for some reason, the bike was coming out clear. Then it was blurry at times. So hopefully this video will be my last time shooting this bike. Well, this one right here is a 1994 Morales. This build took me a while to source out the parts because they came from some parts came from overseas of course a lot of them came from the US example the forks are core forks and these forks I got from Taiwan now the guy that I got it from was on the Morales group he's also on some Misku groups too and he had it for sale and I never done any business with him and he's on the Facebook groups and I don't really like dealing with dudes on the Facebook groups and to you beginners be careful with that Facebook uh, groups because a lot of them are scammers so make sure that you do your research if they have a post and it's a brand new post for let's say 2024 and they're selling something don't even buy it I don't care how good the price is if it's too good to be true then it's not true don't even waste your time or money so I went ahead and uh, did some research on this guy and he had a bunch of parts and a bunch of stuff that he had already sold from previous posts so I went ahead and got in contact with him asked him some questions went ahead and bought them after a month I didn't receive them I contacted him he said that they have went past customs now once anything goes past customs it's the tracking stops so two weeks went by i was getting nervous i'm not gonna lie but they finally came in so now he earned my trust because he's way overseas and you know the part came in in good condition original chrome original decals the whole bike is original chrome original decals the pegs, the core pegs, these two in the back came from Greece. That took about a good month to come in. So basically what I'm telling you guys, if you're going to order anything from eBay or the BMX Museum or wherever, and if it's overseas, it's going to take a while for that stuff to come in. So just do your research on the, the guys that you're buying the parts from and cross your fingers. But this build... Um, like I said before, it took me a while to source out the, the parts. Finally got everything in. So we have Tech 77 levers. I think one's 89 and one's 90. The stem is from a 90s GT. Core candy bars. And actually, this is the box that the bars came in and this is the box for the pegs that the rear pegs came in and you see how much it cost back in the day $27.50 which is crazy because I paid nowhere near that I paid more for the back pegs because they're NOS and to my beginners NOS is it's an older part whether it's 80s 70s 80s or 90s but it's brand new so I paid more for the rear than I did for the front ones. Then you have Pitbull, Daikon Pitbull brakes. Then I have some, I think these tires, HP, HPF 2.2. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. Tires, these are Haro tires, and these are uh, pretty much new school. But they look great on this, great on this bike. ODI grips, those are new school. And have a Dave Mira Haro seat. And this seat was NOS when I got it. A lot of the seats that I was looking up had rips and tears on them. So I was lucky to find this one on the BMX Museum. 
Then I have some Primo pedals. GT crank arms. Graveyard sprocket. And that's, uh, I don't know what kind of rear brake cable that is in the back. The wheels are, are no name wheels, but they are 48s. 48s belong on the mid school. And there is no telling me otherwise. Unless you can't find no 48s. The 48s belong on, to me, belong on late 80s and mid school bikes. But I am loving the way how this bike came out. There's another one that I'm in a hunt for. It's the BTS. I think it's called a BTS. It's a type of Morales. And it's a bash guard that's built on the bike. So I want to uh, build one of those. And I wanted something different. Last year I was thinking about I need a mid-school bike for uh, the shows. I have some 80s stuff, but I need a mid-school bike so I can compete. And I was on the uh, Facebook group and a guy placed with one of these bikes and I didn't know what it was. So I went ahead and did some research and I found a guy that was selling a whole bike. So I didn't have the money for the whole thing. But I told him if he parts it out, I'll buy whatever he has for sale. So he contacted me and I bought the frame and bars from him and the sprockets. That came from Detroit. The rear pegs from Greece, the forks from Taiwan, the tires from Houston, the wheels from New Caney, the seat, I forgot where that seat came from, the crank arms from Cinco Ranch. It just, this bike has, I mean, the parts came from all over. So if you're patient enough, you know, it, to me, it's worth waiting if you're going to build it the right way instead of buying a bike that's complete because you might need to change out some parts in the way, especially if you don't like it. But this is just a little video to show what the bike is looking like. And I'm pretty much done with it. So there's a show that's coming up in Austin. I will be bringing this one out. They have a mid-school class. So hopefully I'll uh, compete with this one. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, that way you catch my videos when they come out. Thank you guys for watching my videos, whether you watch five seconds or if you watch the whole thing. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.